Hello guys, welcome back to Between the Ropes TV. It's another video, it's another end of year award. And at this point, it, these are bigger than the Oscars now, so stay tuned. These are what people want to know about. So this time it's knockout of the year. And for me, it's the same as our fight of the year. It's got to be uh, Lee Wood, Michael Conlon, because Lee Wood, to get a knockout where you knock an opponent out of a ring, add that to the drama of that fight full stop where Wood was down early, was definitely behind on the cards. It was the 12th round. It was just spectacular. And I know on our fight of the year, Ray alluded to, you know, Frotch Taylor. And it was exactly like that. But those are the fights that stick in the memory. Those are the fights that get us excited. Those are the fights that draw in new fans to the sport, which is what it's all about, growing the sport. But for me, it has to be Lee Wood's knockout over Michael Conlon. Ray, I'm going to come to you to have the second word on this. Give me your knockout of the year. I was tied. Um... But I'm, I settled on Inouye versus Donair too. That knockout was just spectacular. The the reason why I'm going for that one is because Donair is still a living legend. I mean, no one's ever done that to Donair. Don't forget, this is a kid that's being beat by Carl Frampton. Um, you know, uh, yes, he did get stopped off um, uh, Jonathan Walters, the Jamaican, but it wasn't as brutal as what Inouye delivered. And for me, it just adds to the legacy of Inouye. Somebody who's... Uh, 18 wins in title fights with 16 KOs. It's a calibre of opposition he's just put into sleep. Uh, Donair, Donair was a great fighter and he gave him such a good fight in the first fight. Um, you kind of thought, okay, Inoue probably will get the stoppage, but it'll probably be a bit late on because Donair had so much more to give. Um, but he just he just blasted him out of there. Beautiful technique against a stellar opponent on the go away Inoue Donair too. No, 100%. That is a great shout, to be fair. And uh, Ray's not going to be too thrilled, but we have got an honourable mention, unless Yas has picked it as well, to go back to. So, Yas, casting vote or potential curveball? <clears throat> up to you. Go for it. K of the year for, K of, of the year for me, Joe Cordina versus um, Kenichi Ogawa. Um, reason why is because, obviously, to do it in the fashion that he done it in, second round, he just clipped, he just hit him with a perfectly timed right hand in front of his hometown. You know, to become world champion, and obviously that win has aged um, very well for Joe, Joe Cordina. Now he's he's pretty much a star now. So um, for me, that that was the KO of the year for me. No, one hundred percent, and that was actually uh, going to be our special mention because for those who've been watching the channel for a while, uh, Ray and I had done a we did a live watch along to that card, and we I think well Ray said it about a minute before how Joe Cordina is not the biggest puncher. <laughs> And as the knockout lands, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, no, I completely agree with you, Ray. And then Joe calls in, he just bags an absolutely sensational finish. Uh, so, no, definitely, that was an incredible knockout. Uh, guys, we'll leave it to you in the comment section. Let us know what your knockout of the year was. And also, pick for us out of our three, because, you know, I've said it before, but these awards now are just gathering such pace. The fighters want their trophies, they want the certificates, they want the adoration. So let us know what the knockout of the year is and stay tuned. We've got plenty more of these coming.